Well, Hans and Eric approached me and said that they were uh, signing a couple of uh, marquee players and that they needed some some roster relief. So, uh, you know, Rebo was going to release me, and uh, I just looked around, to see what opportunities were in the league, and uh, nothing really uh, came out. And uh, I decided that it was, uh, you know, that I had a good career and that it was time to move on, and uh, you know, move on to that, into that next uh, career. I know I had a, a tremendous opportunity, and uh, I hope that I took full advantage of it. I feel that I have for the most part done that. I, I just enjoyed the everyday competition and uh, you know all the people I met. I met some tremendous people along the way and hopefully have some friends for life. And uh, I'm sure if I was someplace else, it would have been a bit easier to, to just go and find a team somewhere and play no matter what. But uh, to be here and to finish up with the club and to also have the opportunity to stay with the club in, in some capacity, all those things went into the fact that I made it a, a nice, easier transition. I don't want to kid anybody and think that it was that it's easy to stop playing but uh, it definitely made it easier and uh, having played 20 minutes from where I grew up is something that I, I, I really feel grateful and thankful for and uh, it certainly makes it makes it easier to to end my career in the place that where it began as well so I'm very happy that I got to be able to to play a few games in the stadium um, before my career came to an end. Uh, it was a long time coming. Um, I've been in, in, with the New York franchise in and out since 99. And uh, I remember back then there were whispers, maybe a few press conferences, more than whispers, but uh, to see it come to life and to see it come to life in such a, an amazing fashion, um, you know, it's a special place. To be able to do that is great. Um, I love playing, I love coming to work every day. Um, you know, I, I knew I missed the game, but in the back of my mind, I knew that uh, coaching would be an opportunity and that uh, I would be able to stay in the game that way. And I think that helped a little bit. You know, I still miss it. Um, you know, it was a lot of hard work, and I, I have a little free time now, so it's a little different. But uh, I do, I do miss the competition and uh, the competing every day and trying to get better and stuff. So it's tough. But Eric Soler came to me and you know said that we, would, you know, although maybe we uh, aren't going to use it as a player anymore, he's like, we, you've been. You're from the area, you've been with the team a long time, and uh, we'd like to keep you on in some capacity. I had mentioned to him that uh, you know, I um, had an interest in possibly coaching, and uh, had um, pursued some uh, coaching, national coaching licenses in, in the last few years. He mentioned that the academy might be a great place to start. Uh, I agreed, I thought it was a great idea. Um, you know, as a player, I did some, some coaching with uh, youth teams along the way, and I'm working with uh, the 96s, 97s, which is uh, 13 and 14 year olds, the youngest part of the academy. Um, I am on as basically an assistant coach. Um, each of those teams has, has a head coach. It's a good chance for me to get my feet wet, see how the organization works, see how the academy goes about its business, and uh, at the same time be there and in a, in a capacity to help kids get better because I, I really do enjoy that. I always looked at my game in, in a number of different ways and how do I can get better and uh, I think that's a good way to go about coaching is to look at each kid and see where they need to improve, what they do well, and uh, see if you can help them uh, the best that I can. It's tough to stay around here. Um, you know, it's New York is a tough place to be, and you see it with the other uh, professional organizations in the area as well. Um, the fans are tough, they demand a lot, and uh, to be able to continually get the opportunity to not only come back, and, but stay for a, an extended period, uh, I'm proud of that, because I know it's not easy. And uh, you know, I play with a bunch of people along the way that, that um, can't quite say that, so um, definitely proud of that. And uh, what kind of legacy. I mean, I, I don't know. It just, I just hope people uh, think that I took it seriously, that I tried hard, and that I tried to be the best that I could. And uh, you know, I tried to. I wasn't a fa flashy player, so I had to give the fans something, and uh, I hope that it was hard work and uh, and dedication. And I, I don't know. I just, I never. I don't know if I would pay money to come see me play, but I'm very happy that people people did and that um, they were happy with what I did on the field. And they were always I always had kind words from people, and uh, people always uh, seemed to want to come up to me and say that they they enjoy watching me play. And that, that does mean a lot to me because I know that I'm not the easy one to to say they love watching play. That scores a lot of goals or that gets a lot of attention, all star and all that stuff. So. Uh, it does mean a lot to me. And, uh, I had someone come up to me today and say that in a restaurant down in Perth Amboy. So <laughs> uh, it's it's nice. It feels it feels good. It feels good. It feels like I 
I was doing the right things and that um, my efforts uh, were being recognized. Yeah, I'd just like to say thank you so much. Uh, your support has meant the world to me, uh, really helped me to uh, become a better player and to, to put a great effort on the field. So uh, I welcome all your kind words and uh, thank you for all of them in the past. Look forward to hearing them in the future. Thanks so much for coming to games. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll be a part of the organization for a long time to come and seeing you guys around.